Hey there, Todd with Hiking for Health CA, and today I'm reviewing the Outdoor Products Trekking Poles. So many of you who are experienced hikers hear outdoor products, you automatically think big box store, that's a cheap product. I get you, I understand. Um, so one of the reasons why I picked uh, this product was because it was inexpensive and at the time when I was getting back into hiking, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do trekking poles. I've never been a trekking pole user, but now that I'm in my 50s, and have some back issues and a little bit of knee issues, I learned on one backpack trip that trekking poles can help, especially on the hills going up and down. So I went with a cheap pair just to see if I like them. And lo and behold, this pair of trekking poles has been really something for me. So this might be one of those corners you can cut if you're looking for uh, cheaper things to try and keep your, keep your budget down. Uh, now I know that's anecdotal evidence. It, you might be able to buy one of these and it'll last you a week and they're trashed, who knows. But I know that the first pair of these I got lasted through the Lost Coast Trail and that included some times where one of these guys, after a boulder slipped underneath me, held my entire weight. And that's some substantial weight, folks. So was able to hold my entire weight and was able to use it for the rest of the trip. It's, I've had these poles for many, many day hike trips and things like that. And I got to tell you, I'm really impressed. I like that they have the measurements here. I like the uh, the clip stop rather than the, the, the screw on type. They just seem to grip better. <clears throat> I know a lot of people think cork handles are, are the thing and if that's what you like, that's awesome. When the cork handles get all wet with sweat, they can be kind of grody and hard to clean and then they attract things like squirrels and varmints and stuff who want to get on it. I like the rubber handles. The only problem with the rubber handles is at least the way I use trekking poles, um, they will rub on your hands and so I bought a cheap pair of weightlifting gloves basically to take care of that problem and then other than that these trekking poles have been invaluable to me. So for the outdoor product trekking poles, one drawback I have found is unlike a lot of the more expensive poles, these tips, uh, they're not removable. You can't take them off and replace them with other, other tips and stuff. They do come with these nice removable if you want to, depending on what kind of terrain you're going to be using, uh, rubberized tips and things like that. But the actual tips themselves, once they're worn down, they're pretty much done. So you're going to have to try and figure out what you're going to do from there. But again, these retail for approximately $20 to $25, which is a big difference from some of the trekking poles that are in the $80 range and up over the $100 range. So if you're a casual hiker or someone who just isn't sure if they want to do trekking poles or not, instead of having to bite that bullet and go for real expensive, I absolutely have no problem recommending these. I've uh, used them for about a year and a half now on all kinds of different day hike trails, everything from the hills of California here uh, to the Sierras. Uh, the Lost Coast Trail was the biggest test for these and they, that terrain was just crazy and these held up great. Um, for those of you who use trekking poles to set up your tent, I have no idea how these will work uh, or not. So sorry, I can't review that, that part because my tent is freestanding and I don't need trekking poles for it. Um, but all said and done, I want to give these four out of five hiking boots. I like them quite a bit. Uh, this is the second pair I've had. The first pair is still usable. I just bought a brand new pair when I was going to try and attempt the uh, Pacific Crest Trail. So I wanted a new pair to go along and I was going to carry these as far as I could. Uh, unfortunately, if you've been watching my channel, you know that didn't go very far. But it wasn't because of these, that's for sure. The poles did really good. Uh, so 
four out of five for these outdoor product trekking poles. And that's my gear review for this time. We'll see you next time.